Hey guys, uh, Marcel Ruiz and this is my room tour. This is my first like area before getting to my room. It's just yeah, a couple of shoes that didn't fit in my closet, or or you just like shoes that aren't like the nicest, or you know ones that I wear every day, more beat up, like just Air Forces and the CDG Converse, which are I should get new ones. Um, I've had these for almost three years. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and it's like the entrance to the hallway that leads to my room. If you wanna. Follow me to see the room. Okay, so right here, this is the door to my room. So we're not gonna get in there yet. I have my closet, if you guys wanna see that before. Um, and I know you can't tell me if you want to or not, so I'm just gonna guess that we're gonna go to the closet before getting to my room. <laughs> right here is just all my shirts and my clothes that I like, uh, which I guess it's a lot. I tried to have it color coordinated. I don't know if here it went a little all over the place. When you open this side of the closet, then here you can see all my shoes. The difference from here and the entrance is that, yeah, here most of them are in boxes, which I like just because I guess it just makes it neater. And, and yeah, every shoe that's in here, it's mostly like my nicer shoes are the ones that i like best i got two nike blazers together like two yeezys together and like converse over there so i try to also match that kind of here's some one shoe that i usually don't show which i like the details of it um this is like a special edition like uh nike puerto rico shoe which was released for the puerto rican day parade and then others that are pretty cool these are like another like weird collab which is nike with stranger things the show um and i wore them i bought them to wear them for the stranger things premiere so i have those and yeah other shoes are probably like shoes you've seen before like off whites or like jordans or yeezys these are like kind of my favorite right now in the collection these are like the travis scott air forces where you can like swap the the swoosh and then here I have all like my hats that I don't even wear, but yeah, I just have like try to put my hats there. And it's weird that I have Clippers right next to Lakers, um, even though I like the Clippers more. But yeah, don't come after me for that. So yeah, this is my room. Um, it's technically smaller than the one I had before by a lot. I know I said a room tour, but it's pretty much, you can just look 360 and that's it. <laughs> so I'm just, the point of it is I'm just gonna get into like more specifics of the decoration of my room. So first I'm gonna start with the rug. I got this rug for Christmas. Ikea did like a collaboration with Virgil Abloh. And this is the rug, it looks like grass. I like having my dog in my room, but I'm scared that he actually thinks it's real grass. Um, so yeah, I barely sleep with him here anymore. But yeah, it says wet grass. And if you step right here, it's a little weird because it'll say wet ass. Okay, light, Ikea again. Um, this is a Tyler the Creator poster from the Eagle album. I bought a shirt and it came with it. And then here I have like a vintage Space Jam poster this is my desk i just like filled it up with random stickers and i try to have it more open just because i like doing my homework here and yeah it has a couple things it has a couple cool things that i left just a little like notebook that i got from japan i have this album cover from kitsy ghost this is just like my portable camera which i like take everywhere and try to take pictures if you guys want to see my pictures you can follow me on 35 millimeter more so. You can follow my Instagram there. 
and you can see like the pictures that I take with my, with my disposable. This cool picture book here, and then this that I also showed in the first room tour. It just has like a secret little compartment to put stuff in, but I still haven't put anything in there. And then the other two cool things that I have here, it's I have this like mini like retro fridge where I, I, I just got it. So I have like some mini Coke cans inside. But maybe eventually I'll just like use it as storage or something like that. And here, it's like a like a very retro Polaroid um, that I want to start taking more pictures with, just because I'm like getting into cameras. And then here, this is really cool that I I I did the other day. It's the Friends uh, Central Perk Lego set, which it's like half the real show, but also half like if it would still be um. A set so it still has like the lights on the side you could finish it in two days but i i procrastinate it a lot i feel like this is more like my zen area of my room like i just have like some chains here um just my wallet my airpods and like my watch that's there in the case some jewelry like rings keys stuff that i use every day i'll just keep on top so i can take it and go i got this case from this chinese website for like a dollar it took like three months to get here. Another thing I have, it's just like another notebook. I have all these notebooks, but I don't even write in them, but it just looks cool. I like also collecting like when I go to stores or stuff, their books with, with images inside from their collections, stuff like that, like, like magazines and things like that to have um, in the room or just to look at pictures is cool, like as a coffee table book. In my fake bonsai tree that is gonna be with me for a long time because I doesn't need any water or maintenance. This I got from one day at a time from an episode that they shot. I don't know if, if you remember, but um, in that episode, Schneider is like, I don't know, he's like with a bonsai tree and he's like trimming it. Um, and that week they bought like a lot of bonsai trees to, to pick which one they wanted. And so they didn't use this one. So I ended up taking it home, which is cool. Sometimes that happens in one day at a time where you can take like stuff home. And, and I have the Puerto Rican flag right here in the back. And right here, which I just got, I like, it's just like crystals. There's really nothing else to it. They're rocks <laughs> that make you feel uh, enlightened, you know, like energy wise, but they're really nice. I like them just because they show the color, but they're also still like raw on the other side, like still like a rock. So this part is kind of interesting. It was mainly to put like books or I don't know, other things that I had in the room. But at the end I had like a lot of like collectibles from Supreme that I had. So I just put it all here just to have it in one place and not all over the room. But there's also a lot of other cool things that is not from Supreme here. There's this really nice uh, Takashi Murakami um, plush toy. These Brillo boxes from Andy Warhol. And yeah, these are just things that you can get like at gift shops from museums. And then here I have these like Coca-Cola bottles from Japan. And yeah, these two lights that I like to have just, I got these like from an event, they had them all over like the tables and everyone was just like taking them. So I took two and <laughs> and they worked out. I have like a, like a couple pins here, but this I really like, like tickets from like events that I've gone to, I just keep them there. like. I had the three bands from, from Camp Flognor, or like a Netflix event, or the Stranger Things premiere, or like this Adidas event. And something cool that I have here, it's the Travis Scott like Reese's Puffs. It's expired by now, probably. So yeah, that was not worth it. But shout out to my friend Daniel, he got it for me, so that's pretty cool. Okay, and then the third row that I have here, it's just like stuff that I have for sale. Um, so yeah, I have like a lot of like Supreme things that like I resell, um, which you can buy if you follow, um, the account, the Supreme Steel. It's just this Instagram account that I run with a friend. So yeah, just cool things that I have there are for sale. So if you want to buy any, you can.
And then here I have um, just a basketball mini hoop that right now in quarantine I'm using more than ever. Compared to my last room, I don't have that much room to play around or jump. Um, in the other room I have more space. But maybe if the cameraman wants to alley-oop the ball. <laughs> we, can try, we can try something. I don't know, let's do something random. I see you! I see you, cameraman! So yeah, that's, that's my basketball hoop. And so I just put the ball, like I try to just stuck it there. Just when I'm not using it. Right here I have like this chair that I, when I shoot like high school fits, I'll usually sit in that chair. Um, and yeah, I also did a video like building the chair, which it was actually pretty hard to do it. <laughs> and the cool thing is like still you can take this off and I can like switch it with the Supreme whenever I want. Maybe more Supreme than needed. I got this poster, it's ripped, kind of on purpose. I got it just from the street, like, like those like signs that they put on the street and when I rip, they rip like that. Just another k -Moss poster and believe it or not, this is a sled that I've used once because I live in a place where there's no snow, so it doesn't make sense for me to have this. It's a lamp. It's a red supreme lamp. You can still have it during the day like off, but right now it's getting darker, it looks cool like that. I also was thinking that I could put like LED lights throughout the top or stuff like that. But right now I have this really cool light that actually like it, you can move it with your phone and change the color. Here I have like all of my other clothes that I didn't put in my closet. I'm not gonna show you, but just maybe you can imagine. I have like this sign that I sometimes use when I shoot and it lights up, but right now I didn't put any batteries on it. I just have a question mark just because I don't know what to put. Here I have uh, a really cool Beats pill speaker. I really recommend this, honestly. Um, it's little portable and I use it to listen to music in my room. And then I just have like a couple of <laughs> Stuffed animals from Cause Breakthrough um, bracelet. It's pretty cool. This like award that I got from Variety. Um, this is pretty cool. So here I have like two like awards um, that I've gotten recently. And some other cool things is this light that I have right here. Um, it turns on and off. I've showed that before, but it's yeah I have that there. And then here I have my dog's bed for whenever he wants to sleep in my room. Um, he's welcome too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, this time I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna lay on it. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to do any fancy jumping. This is, this is my bed. Um, yeah, not a lot to say about it. It's just white and basic. And I have a Kermit poster up there. And as you can tell, it's a little bigger than the one I had before, which is nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for 100k subscribers. That's awesome. Thank you so much for everyone that's watching. And soon, I'm going to have YouTube join where it's um, like a community where you can, you know, fans that want to see more content behind the scenes, bloopers, um, unreleased footage from like years ago. I'm going to be opening that too, which you can join. So thank you so much for watching. This has been my second room tour, um, and yeah, more videos coming soon.